hi guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is hannah renee and it is so nice to meet you and this is young womanhood 101 where we share about healthy lifestyles self-care homemaking and all of the above so if you like that type of content make sure to subscribe but right now my husband and i are in Asheville. we are doing our planning dreaming weekend for 2024 we are staying in like this little cottage and it's little quaint i don't know how to describe it it's like rustic we are going out to dinner right now it's maybe like 6 30 6 45 and we just got here so we changed and now we're going out to dinner and then we'll probably be back for the night because we just don't want to do a lot of stuff and we have tomorrow and Sunday to do stuff so that is the plan. What we are gonna do this is our first full day here we're gonna hang out explore the city but also we're going to do three different steps on planning and praying for the new year so we're gonna go to a coffee shop right now in the city and we'll do our first little step which is kind of the reflection kind of the grading part I'll explain more later but until then that's where we're headed here's my fit of the day this sweater is from gray bandit and then this is an old american eagle skirt from american eagle i don't know why i said that and then some doc martin boots and now we're gonna go into the city the first thing that we're doing is our reflection where we grade each not each other we grade ourselves and we do different categories so like what are they? Marriage, friends, health, financial, financial, spiritual. Yeah, there's a lot of categories. So we do that together. Well, sorry, we do that separately for our own self. And then we compare our answers and we talk about it. And then we can look at it from last year because we've been doing this for a few years. So I have 2022 and 23. I don't know if we want to go back that far, but. That's what we're going to do at this coffee shop. Hey, 
is embarrassing I'm out of breath. Walking up the hill. I just said that I do really good working now and then I'm out of breath. <sighs> Went to a coffee shop, then we went to the bookstore, then actually we went to a farmer's market, but it was lame, and then we went to the bookstore, and then we went to the outlets, and oh, there's a dog, weird, and at the outlets, Alec got some stuff from Under Armour, he got this Sherpa that he really likes, and some joggers, and I got Abercrombie jeans and shirt and then we went to chipotle for a late lunch then we went back to airbnb i took a nap in red i watched a football game mm -hmm. <laughs> and now we were gonna go to blue ridge parkway but it's closed so we're at a park and we're just going to worship pray journal all of that stuff it's a small pond how peaceful. So there's lots of people, but. And dogs. And dogs. heaven and have my own mansion it will look like 
that store. It was just fantastic. Are you laughing at me? It's just, oh, it's the truth. Anyways, so, went there. Then we went to a comic book store for Alec. That's what his mansion scale looked like. <laughs> also, while we were at the plant store, we did the last step of our weekend, which was planning goals, and then we shared them with each other. So now I'm probably gonna make a vision board in the car as we're driving home. Oh, we also went to Biltmore Village, had lunch there. Didn't go to actual Biltmore State because they're still in their Christmas season and tickets are really expensive during the Christmas season. So we'll do that another time, but hung out in Biltmore Village, got to see it. Alec had never seen it, so he thought it was cool. And now we're going home. So we should get home. It's two now. We should get home at like four. And that's it. So we ended up making it back home and I took a nap. So that's why I look a little bit crazy. But it is now 6.13. And I am going to do the last bit of New Year's planning in my actual planner. And I'm going to pull out my notion on my computer well i did make my vision board i showed it a little bit but i'll put a picture here these are kind of my visions my goals i'll kind of explain what i have on here real fast for you vision board right here in the top left corner i have a little picture of dinner candlelit dinner i want to start having one night a week on sunday nights have a dinner with my husband at the table because we didn't eat a lot in front of the TV so I want to have a dinner in front of the table where we just check in with each other check in with our goals on Sunday nights I think that'd be really helpful for us helpful with our communication especially if there's like something that somebody asked us like an event or something we can communicate the middle picture is a farmer's market because I want to eventually sell plants at a farmer's market. I don't know if that'll happen, but I really want to work towards that. And I've been doing lots of propagating to get some little baby plants going. So we'll see the picture on the right, my right, I don't know if it's your right, sorry, is a coffee shop. I just work at coffee shops a lot on my work from home days. So a little motivation there. The middle picture is of plants. This is again just for the farmer's market dream that I have. <laughs> the picture on the left is of a car because we're trying to buy a car very soon, hopefully, as soon as we can. The picture in the middle is of a living room. Just I love keeping a clean and cozy space. So that's my motivation with that. The picture on the right is of a Bible on a picnic blanket and a sunset. I really want for my quiet times this year to do something different every day. I've been feeling really stagnant with just reading my Bible in the mornings and I want to have a little bit more creativity, a little bit more of just doing what I feel like I need that day, whether it's a prayer walk, whether it's worshiping on my guitar, whether it's reading my Bible, journaling. I just want to do what I think would actually help. Picture below that is of a girl reading. I obviously have been into reading this year, so keeping up with that. And I upped my reading goal, so working on that. Then the middle picture is of cooking. I want to cook four meals at home at least a week. That's at least. I'd love it if it was more. Leftover nights do not count as cooking. I want to actually cook. Then the picture on the bottom left corner is of dogs because we want to get a dog this year. So they're little cocker spaniels because I want a cocker spaniel. And the picture above that is of a microphone and a guitar because I lead worship and I just want to keep pursuing that. That is my little vision board explanation. In my actual planner, what I like to do with all of those goals, I give you a little synopsis with the vision board, is I like to pick a smaller goal for one month. The reason why I do that is to break it down and actually have something in my planner that I see to keep me on track. So I already put in one for January. I have this little sticky note from 
Target. My goal was to make dinner at home four times a week. As I already mentioned, that is my January goal. So I put that in there to keep me motivated. I also put what book I'm reading this month because typically I only read a book a month. That's kind of the speed I go at. So I put the seven year slip. That's the book I'm reading. I also have my car savings goal because I told you we're saving for a car. I have that in there. And then the last thing that I have and this is a recommendation from Shelby Sacco on TikTok. When she has a monthly goal or a new habit that she's building, after one week, she gives herself a little reward. And then after she completes it for the full month, she gives herself a bigger reward. That incentivizing, that helps you keep it. That little dopamine spike when you get the reward. So for this goal, I already did it for the first week of January. So my little reward was I got a book while we we're on our trip. I also got a plant pot while we we're on our trip. So I guess I got two rewards, but that's kind of my reward for keeping with the goal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick my next reward for the end of the month. And then I'm going to pick more habits for February and March, just so I can have things to look ahead at. So for my February goal, I put Sunday night dinners, just making that a habit. And there's four Sundays in February, so that should be pretty easy to create in our lives. And then for March, I put make a little extra money every day. I'm really trying to do a bunch of different side hustles to save up for our car. So that is something I want to work on for March. And that is kind of how our planning and dreaming weekend go and planning for 2024. Thank you so much for watching this fun little vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and let me know of any other video ideas you'd like to see from me because I love to do this for you. And I will see you guys whenever I see you next. Bye, guys.